let's do an example of chlorine now. So this is the chlorine atom. It has 17 protons, 17 electrons. So it is neutral because so for in the in the case of sodium, this was plus 11 because of the protons, minus 11 because of the because of the electrons. We added it. We got zero. Uh, and so in the, so similarly with chlorine in the atom, we have 17 protons, 17 electrons. So plus 17 because of the protons minus 17 because of the electrons when we add it together we get zero so it's neutral in nature however chlo chlorine forms an anion sodium forms a cation while chlorine forms an anion which is called cn negative it's called the chloride ion and this has 17 protons because there is no change in the number of protons however it has gained an electron so now it has 18 electrons instead of 17 it has gained an electron so the total charge because of the protons is plus 17. The total charge because of the, because of the electrons is minus 18. So when we add these together, we get minus 1. And that's why we have a negative charge on here, over here. If we take the example of magnesium, it has 12 protons, 12 electrons, which give us a total charge of 0. Magnesium atoms are neutral. But magnesium forms M, the Mg2 plus ion which has 70, sorry, not 17, 12 protons again, because there is no change in the number of protons, but it releases 10, uh, 2 electrons. So now it has 10 electrons. Sodium releases 1 electron, while magnesium releases 2 electrons. So we have plus 12 because of the protons. We have minus 10 because of the electrons. So when we add these two together, we get an overall charge of plus 2. So it has a 2 plus charge we write it as 2 plus and uh, and similarly this is 1 plus we so we don't write the one we just write plus and this is the charge on the ion so ions are basically atoms that have gained or lost electrons and magne mg2 plus and na plus over here are cations cl negative is an anion so we are done with atomic structure as i said it is a fairly easy topic and uh, it's very small you, it's just a recap because it's everything you've done before so when we do chemical bonding and electrons and atoms next time then we will be applying all the concepts that we learned today to understand the concepts in those chapters so you can practice papers at gcguide.org the link is in description you can email me your doubts at a level chemistry free at gmail.com which is also in the description so Thank you for watching and keep practicing.